how's everyone doing it's been a while uh hope you all been doing great uh not gonna lie i was thinking of never doing a uh fucking recording again because not gonna lie made me a little bit feeling like i should do these often when i really didn't feel like doing these often because i'm tired i work on a game project i have a full-time job i need to remember to take care of myself eat clean you know all that shaboing and uh i I get very uh overwhelmed easily so for the longest time i thought okay maybe i don't need to uh record maybe recording just puts too much of a toll on me and i would rather not do it so that was my sentiment sentiment for a long How many weeks has it been now? Three weeks? I got super lucky when one of my friends decided to edit me a Lethal Company video because I guess- I think it was my birthday video? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was like either um, a collab on my birthday or just a collab, but I don't really remember anymore, unfortunately. So, um, but yeah, I I think it was just like a, a collab stream. And I managed to like put that uh, as a, like a video upload per week because I told myself I will upload uh, something a, a long format video per week and uh, yeah I didn't really keep on that I got so caught up by like uploading the shorts because these are the only reasonably consistent things I can do if I of course don't forget do you like imagine this like you set up a timer like or not a timer like an alarm clock for you to upload shorts and you still forget to upload shorts <laughs> Because, like, usually when the short, um, fucking, you know, rings off, you completely forget that you're actually supposed to, you know, let go of what you're doing and actually do what the alarm tells you to do. But no, that's, that, even that's a fucking challenge. I mean, it worked for a while, but now it doesn't work and now I have to figure a way where I don't forget to actually upload the short. Um, and yeah, it's been on and off for a while. I'm guessing it's because my... Mind is on a lot of things now that I'm actually developing another game that isn't timer actually, but another smaller game called Penum- Penumbra where I'm trying to just boost a bit of popularity for my fucking series instead of this, but yeah. So, uh, oh my god, uh, rant about my life aside, I'm gonna try to uh, upload whenever I feel like it or whenever I can. Because, honest to god, while I am trying to get over the fact that I am scared of talking online and, like, put my voice out there, I would rather just- I still want to keep doing it. I just don't want to pressure myself into doing it because if I pressure myself, I'm gonna hate it. And if I hate it, that's just pretty much the opposite of what I'm trying to do, which is, you know, making myself not hate recording. Uh, myself on videos which because like I really need to get into that kind of stuff but like you know what's even funnier like streaming easy to me I stream three times a week love it all of it but I just can't find myself in videos which is sad uh, really sad because you know I watch YouTube all the time but you know it is what it is uh, whatever so besides all that point uh, so far so good uh, what we're looking at right now is basically my workflow or at least what you know i mean the amount of frames that i've drawn for the joyride animation that i had um when i first heard the joyride track i was like haha very furry song uh furry song go burr and but then i like listened to the full song and i was like hmm wait a minute that shit is a bop i actually kind of like it (laughs) and so i was like you know what this song is so funky i want to make an animation that just puts all my fucking energy and like the the thirst of drawing something fucked up for a while because I haven't done that in a in a while and I and I because I like you know again busy with work and shit that I just like you know what I want to put all the gore love energy and all the horror energy in that fucking short I just want to I just I just want to draw someone be murdered, okay? Just hear me out, hear me out as a horror artist, hear me out please. Sometimes you just want to fucking draw something that got murdered, okay? Sometimes you want to either draw something from beyond the fucking worlds of comprehension and sometimes you just want to draw something dead. And make it look psychotic. But like, you know, that's the same thing. Same thing. 
you just have that urge just just, just de-stress uh, de-stress yes with a sh you gotta de-stress and um do whatever just lets out all that negative energy all the energy all the negatives you just put it you just slap it on that fucking thing so yeah uh, and of course, uh, are my loyal subject as every single fucking animation I almost did since my start of actually trying to upload on the channel would be Snow, my baby boy, my sweetest of sweethearts. I know I said Heidi was my babiest of baby boys and my sweetest of sweethearts, but you know, Snow is my sweetest of sweethearts because we all love our psychotic OCs, and me included. I'm not an exception, so... I love my crazy little boy. He's he's so gorgeous, so dangerous, so fabulous, so fucking dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I keep going back and forth between the frames uh, because at some point you just fucking get bored. And again, I stand by saying that I don't like doing animation, not because they're not necessarily fun to make. It's just that they're so fucking time consuming. Also, the fact that I'm putting a lot of detail in these uh, drawings is not exactly helping my case either. But keep in mind, I'm an illustrator, not necessarily an animator. I was practically being harassed to make um, a short. And I'm absolutely not talking about you, Cynthia, you know, uh, my sweetheart. Thank you for making me do the short. But oh my god, um, I blame you. I blame you for the short. I blame you for everything that I, I'm ever going to animate in the future. And yeah, thank you. But fuck you. But thank you. I love you. You're my bae. Mwah. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, besides that, uh, picking the color palettes for the three motherfuckers who are supposedly, uh, you know, the antagonist in quotations of this animation took me a while because like uh, nothing really makes me struggle more than picking colors from my, my own self-created race because I had to make them as pretty as flowers but also like you know you gotta be diverse and try to uglify quote in quotations uglify in quotations these motherfuckers a little bit by mismatching their colors so some of them I try to mismatch but nothing like too ugly just for the sake of like whoever is looking at this won't like hurl at the screen and projectile vomit at it because you know you gotta keep things fancy schmancy and acceptable in a way but that's besides the point baby so uh in this the story of the short is basically uh snow gets called gay and a cock <laughs> straight up uh, by this dude who's practically bullying him because he hates the idea that he technically, his appearance abides by societal standards of their race, while his is considered too pale, in quotations. So, and Snow is pale, but at least his colors are slightly homogenous with each other, like they're not clashing on like Mr. Hatsune Miko over there. So, uh, yeah, he's quite jealous, he's already a jealous bitch. The others are not, do not hate Snow that much, but, like, you know, they're just accomplice. Because, like, why not? Why the fuck not? Let's add more to the roster. The more the suffering, the better. So, uh, this is one of those situations when you're like, oh my god, I want to draw horrific things, but I actually do not have the energy to do horrific things because I'm older than 20 and I feel like my bones are cracking and my, <laughs> and my back is breaking and my attention span is being buried six feet under as I draw this. So, I was like, you know what? Let me, what's 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 the thing that annoys me the most? And I'm like, people talking. I was like, what do I what do I want? To represent my annoyance of, you know, people just saying stupid shit, and me included, of course, and uh, talking nonstop. What would you want to do? Like, you wish you would just, like, rip... Yeah, either tell them to please stay quiet politely, or or the alternative option that we, of course, cannot do it because, you know, <laughs> obvious reasons, is to rip their throat out and tell them, please be quiet. And so I did that. Um, because, like, it, mainly I got inspired by, like, Danganronpa because I remember there was this line written, said by that one incestual military-looking-ass dude with a mask that is red-laced. 
on the back call i don't remember who was also long black hair said something about ripping someone's nerves and i was like damn that's inspiring i wanted to be as fucked up as that but of course i couldn't fucking draw him ripping someone's nerves off that's like too much that's too metal bro i i need to tone it down a little bit <laughs> so uh i, I just went with the, th- the throat or the esophagus sounded fucked up enough but tame enough for my fucking standards i guess whatever but, uh, yeah, and then, like, uh, this is the part where, like, if, if anyone noticed, the snow's eyes turn white. That is, like, a little bit of a spoiler, non-spoiler, spoiler uh, for his story that I'm gonna write in the future and hopefully, like, get to work on it eventually 10 years from now or something. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be a while until I get to this fucker's story. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I just wanted to represent Snow's crazy from a time to time because most of the time that I when I draw Snow, I draw him in these like serene, beautiful portraits or cute portraits. So I'm like, you know what? This motherfucker is like half a shapeshifter. I should probably draw him in a fucked up situation once or twice. And like, the only fucked up time uh, that I draw him in a fucked up situation was like two years ago where I was attempting to do. Uh, nice version and a crazy version of him and i never finished it because guess what i lost fucking motivation and so i was like you know what i'm not gonna draw one frame of this man going crazy i'm gonna draw at least six frames where this motherfucker goes ham on those boys and i'm like and let me tell you the frame that i'm recording that i'm like draw uh coloring right now all my lovely friends decided to uh make the sweet comments of saying that he looks like he's fucking that person and i'm like okay guys i i very much remember why we're friends now thank you very much for your observations and beautiful uh fucking encouragement because that's kind of (laughs) i don't even know what to say um it was funny funny remarks but I was, I'm still proud of it because, like, this is the first time I draw that pose out of purely out of my mind. I didn't like look up references for it, which is why I'm, I'm like super, super proud. So, like, I don't really care. And uh, because I lacked frames, I decided to make three versions of Snow. One where he's like standing, staring right at the camera, being like nice, sweet, coy, and cute, and, like the persona that he puts on and all that shit. And then another frame where he's, like, going between in, uh, going, like, about to, like, reveal his true nature in quotations, whatever you'd like to see, fucking interpret that. And then the last frame where he just completely goes ham and, like, haha, bitch, I'm actually a fucking half a monster, I can fuck you up, po, because why not? And so, um, that's what I do here. Uh, I kind of like, I'm thinking, like, maybe at some point I'll release, like, the non-edited effect version of this. But, you know, uh, probably never gonna do it. But they do look nice, even without the effects. So, yeah. uh, This was a really fun animation to do. Probably not gonna do another animation for the next god knows how many months. Because this took way too much fucking energy. And I took out all the negative energy in that one. And I enjoyed it. It really felt good finishing it, and streaming it was also fun, so, yeah. Uh, any other questions I shall answer in the comments, but uh, that's it, everyone. Thank you so much, and uh, bye-bye.